Hey everybody, welcome to Go For Green Living Homestead. My name is Daniel. And it's official, fall is here. I had my first fire today. And it was an easy fire. You know, y'all y'all know I'm using my wood cooker, a uh, small fire, tiny fire, to, to heat the house. And it does such a wonderful job. Uh, and it's real easy to gather firewood. Uh, I'll just go out in the woods and I'll look for, for dead trees, the ones that haven't fall down, fallen down yet. You know, all the leaves are gone, all the limbs are gone, just these sticks sticking up in the air. And I'll go and harvest those, just pull them right down, you know, is, is the easiest way. I rarely have to get the saw out, but except to cut them up. Uh, but in, and they fit in this little fire so perfectly that, you know, just a little bit of time each day, you know, just a little walk in the woods and I have all the, the firewood I need for my tiny fire. To start it, all I do is just take a toilet paper roll and a piece of paper and some uh, kindling, which I very easily split up with my wood splitter. And, and it just lights up, usually first strike, and you know, that's the way I like to start fires. That's what everybody likes to start fires. You know, not struggling with it, but I can show you right here in the time that we've been talking that I've lit up a nice little fire and it is going well. <laughs> So, you know, so I, I, I'm practiced at it. That's part of, you know, the uh, starting a fire. I'm practiced at starting a fire. I know what it takes to start a fire. And I can even start a fire in, in the rain. <clears throat> but, you know, so you need to know that if you're going to survive off a tiny fire, you know, or something like that. So anyway, so I heated up uh, my house in, in less than an hour. And it was quite comfortable in there. You know, uh, it went from... Uh, it was 33 outside, and it went from 33, you know, it wasn't 30, it was 50 in the house, and I heated it up to 65 in no time. Stayed a little warm all day, but that's okay, you know, too, because uh, go work outside and come back in. You're like, ooh, yeah, nice and warm. <laughs> so that'll get me started for tonight. Uh, you know, so yeah, but it's official. Fall is here, so it's time for fires and and long sleeves and and long pants and boots again. Because if if y'all know me, you know, I'm I wear shorts as long as possible and shorts 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 all summer long. I I don't even think I pulled out a pair of pants. <laughs> The, the entire summer. There's a few things happening for me on the on the homestead. I have a, a, a goat, uh, a dwarf Nigerian milk goat. She's my smallest one, a solid white. Uh, she's very valuable. <laughs> she's very pregnant. And uh, her extremities are, are poking out, so it'll be any time now. She's so small, I'm gonna try to keep a close eye on her. I don't know how long since they start, from the time they start poking out in, in their nether regions, how long before they have the baby, uh, I, I think it's only a matter of uh, you know, a week, maybe two weeks at the most, uh, maybe in the next couple of days. So I might have a video coming up real soon of uh, those, those babies being born. So I like spending time with her. She, she didn't mind me holding her and, uh, <laughs> and She's like relief. She she kind of stands uh, like you know like a kind of a triangle shape so that you know <laughs> so that the baby the the, the belly just kind of holding her down. She she didn't have babies this spring, so I'm a little excited about the babies coming uh, now. So it's not too cold for them either. They'll have time to to grow up a little bit before it gets uh, gets really cold here. So we haven't even had our first frost yet. So. Uh, that usually comes around October 31st, uh, our, our first frost, somewhere in that area. But last year it was uh, several weeks uh, late, uh, so, and, and that's the first time since I've been keeping track in, in 20 years has, has that happened, so, uh, 
So we'll see what happens this year. But I'm looking forward to new babies coming on the, on the homestead. And uh, of course, here's here's a little shot of, of me in spending a little time with, with my babies and the goats. And uh, I just love them to death. They're, they're awesome. Uh, and they love me too. Faith especially just wants to be, you know, the center of attention. You know, I, I bottle fed her and and she she is a baby. She is my baby. Uh, she's a little <laughs> a little different, you know, but she's still awesome. She likes to stick her head through the fence and then can't figure out how to get it back out. So uh, I have to check quite often to make sure she's not stuck in the, in the fence. Uh, but, but that's okay, she's, she's still my baby. I'm gonna have a the complete life of Faith, you know, uh, coming up in a future video because uh, I started taking video of her since I got her, and I got her like, uh, I think she was one month old, and I saw bottle, started bottle feeding her, and I bottle fed her for three months, and, and she lived in here in the house with me, and, and she was she was house broke, which was awesome. She was house broke and, and everything, and so, I, after she, right after she ate, if I take her out for a walk, she would use the bathroom and then she'd be good for the rest of the day. Uh, you know, she was a good jumper though. So, <laughs> so anyway, that's coming up uh, when when she has uh, babies and I start milking her. That'll be her complete life. I mean, it won't be a complete life, but it'll be where I want to take the video from bottle feeding her to uh, to the end and and bottle. Uh, Bottle Tree Farm is actually the one who, who gave me faith, so uh, you know that's uh, I, I will be giving complete credit to her, you know, to through this whole thing uh, because they're awesome people. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting the the, the the homestead ready for winter time, and I, I had the fire, and uh, I'm going to be speaking at this uh, event coming up soon, which I'm going to have a video on that. I have a, a video review on a uh, heater and uh, they, this company sent me this heater and it is an awesome heater that I can run on solar. It's low wattage and quiet. It's, I've never heard a heater so quiet in my life, you know, that, uh, so it doesn't use much electricity <laughs> and it's quiet. So there are win-wins in that situation. So anyway, that's coming up. Anyway, guys, I just giving you a quick update and how excited I am that I had my first fire and how warm and toasty it was in, in the cabin. I hope y'all enjoy me for my fall and winter time adventures because there's a lot of good information coming up. So y'all do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you're, you're notified when there's upcoming, upcoming videos. And do me a favor, hit the thumbs up if you like the video because it shows what I'm doing, I'm doing a good job. Alright guys, I love you. And I'll catch you on the next video. Ani Ove Ocha means I love you, Hebrew. Later, guys.